I know you're a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> Wait for it. Go! Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Oh, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Hey, partner in grime. Come check this out. Hail Satan. Hmm, edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> you know. God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. But maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Good 
thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. That would suck. Something doesn't have to be useful to be worth preserving. Well, you know my mom. She can't stand a charity case. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. <laughs> Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What? You mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! This year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. It was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh, oh Doug, no. I could never resist a deal. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? <laughs> it looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> then... Wouldn't that jacket be totally decayed by now? Mean! 
This is Kator. <laughs> Figured out what your focus is going to be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Thanks, I value my ankles. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? Um, any other option? Yes, this is the angle I need. Service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismo. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Holy 
Holy shit, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Safi, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? If there's a just and loving God, sleep. Today's been a doozy. Ah. Well, sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. You spent all those years on the road, meeting new people every day, and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. You don't meet a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? She died my senior year. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I 
can do that. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. So fucking old. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about it. <sighs> I can keep that. forgetting. No more back to start for me. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Well, that doesn't look right. Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. Busy night. Oh, Julie called off, so. I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Mm. 
No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your rec on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you- It's my job to know the regulars. I'm the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to score. Dumb. Bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey baby, I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> So, oh, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but... Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? I was kinda... definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur, <laughs> but a man is really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, cause I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is, hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. <laughs> she gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? 
not in our lifetime, and it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. <laughs> Lakeport's most notorious party animals. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got income. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been this happy in years. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like... Talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, 
How dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm not above relaxing my principles to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. Okay, no big deal. I just need to outsmart the sharpest person I know. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Sophie's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Sophie eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm-hmm. Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, <laughs> Those are rare. You never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. This winter air is killing me. You don't have any lip balm in your bag, do you? You didn't see it while you were hiding that bottle cap? Bullshit! How did you see me? Get good, noob. <laughs> You're the worst. Not at hiding bottle caps, I'm not. Your title <laughs> is secure. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safi Lewellen Fayad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. Sure, but... Who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. I want to go out doing something I'm good at. You know? Huh. Oh, 
what? No, nothing. Just didn't take you as a it's the journey, not the destination type. I mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's okay. Look at that. What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. You think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better. Just waiting to suddenly appear. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Everything I know. Mm -hmm. chain smoking again? Wonder what that call is about. This is what you want. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Please don't wake me up. Ooh, ooh. Planted the bottle cap, and who took the photo? Sophie, she seems okay. I 
I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay? the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, all those people lived, but you died because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. 
Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. since I used this. I'm not exactly- Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Better get these tidied up too before Amanda gets here. Well, at least my house is semi-presentable. Time to get dressed. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Maybe putting these memories up will make it hurt less. 
or maybe I'm just a masochist. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. <sighs> I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn! Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. Shit! That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of- It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. I can handle it. I've dealt with tough shit before. But I can't handle it. And it's not what either of us needs. At least, not right now. Trust me. Now how about that photo? 
That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. It's all yours if you want it.
Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key of Braxis virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. <laughs> and? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. God, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right, catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Howdy, Ven. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? <laughs> you think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Uh, listen. I'm... I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but... She was an amazing person, and... We're all gonna miss her. You two knew each other? She never told me. 
I mean, her mom is my boss. <laughs> good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few... Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Really giving me expensive car dealership vibes. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont. The one thing all visual art has in common. Light. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max, I, uh, so, I'm a hugger, um, are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Expensive display, cheap lock. You love to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? I hate to ask, but any word on the... That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Nothing makes you feel alone, like a chair made for two. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow.
Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Too little, too late. Wow. Is this a student literary mag? Or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> you're full of surprises. Ben's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I don't know about any book, but she never talked to me about any of her works in progress. What a shame. I was always urging her to finish that manuscript, but she never had the time. Guess she never will. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you.
Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done? I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? <sighs> Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy... and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. 
Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um... Maybe... Tell me a little about it first? Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too, you said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once.
I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Sophie disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting, but words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. It's just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It hits different, doesn't it? Hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. How did 
did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm gonna use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color jack can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get a hot cocoa. That's it. Snowball down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? I keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on.
Where is that other Moses going? What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our cocoa. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating in teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. It's too cold for this. That really was Safi. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. gonna freeze to death. Fuck is happening. Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I? Did I actually manage to rewind time? Mac, are you okay? It 
kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Publisher? I've been shopping a collection around for a while, and someone made me a deal. Awesome, Sophie. That's phenomenal. Was this your big secret? You didn't tell her? I thought she'd have been the first. I didn't want to jinx it. Aren't you always telling me not to tempt the universe? I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job, like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. A whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be. I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Yup, this is definitely the source of the hum and my nosebleed. Let's poke it with a stick. This is so fucking crazy. There's another Amanda. If I can chat with both, then maybe I can figure out what's changed. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Max. You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. I should cross over and talk to the other Amanda. That's the way back across.
Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Now I just need to work out where or when here is. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Hey, so... Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? You know all about- They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so, so I asked you out. I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit, this Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship because Safi isn't dead. So are you gonna tell me what happened? I drank, like, way too much the other night. I've been in kind of a state. For two days? <laughs> Were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner? I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... Safi and Yasmin. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie, someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Zafi, is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? 
No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with the Volvo instead? This is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Ravi. She's gone. Oh. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead... unsettling it's fun but that's the way back across that's the way back across. That should help me reach the cow skull. supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Sophia, Maxine. This is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but I don't know if he's a property damage level dick. But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down.
Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. No reason, really. I just miss her. Joni Mitchell was right. You truly don't know what you got till it's gone. When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you know it had Lucas's name on it? Who? Oh, Pulmonero. That makes sense. He's the one who donated it. Seriously? Why a cow skull? I have no idea. I'm like physically incapable of listening to that dude when he talks. You're not gonna miss the creepy cow skull? Even a little? Eh. If it was one of the local pieces, I might be a little more broken up about it. But considering the source, I'm probably not going to lose a lot of sleep. <laughs> Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. to think what is going on What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Time to start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's card. What the? <laughs> Note to self, avoid this bush. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa.
Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing, under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going down here, too. But at least... Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. These emails are from way back. Like, before Sunkmi knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. So Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences, you know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I do. Looks like Gwen's a popular girl. Hey babe, just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fai's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? Fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, a bunch of scenes. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Drink up, buddy. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up.
No, not yet. I doubt I'll ever get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this again. Gwen's wife? Claudia, I think? I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Damn, talk about a green thumb. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. You would never do... what, Gwen? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh, you're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe, babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. No, not yet. I doubt I'll ever get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this thing looks older than Caledon. If Safi was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? I may not have saved Safi, yet, but I did save this plant. All right, Hacker Max, let's go. Search, scent, to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but... I didn't realize she was this involved. I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow.
Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. Those the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. No. Listen to me and don't worry about I've never seen Lucas look this happy. I wonder who he's talking to. Hey, Rocky. Done any more work on that proposal yet? <sighs> it's funny you say that. Max. Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. His notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yeah. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. It's... been a hard day. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot of stuff, all tangled together. It's hard to parse. When my dad passed, well, grief is an easy country to get lost in. No matter how many times you visit. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo have really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage?
dare I channel my inner Chloe. Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? K.O. Your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Max Caulfield! Oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody really busted up your face on the book expo, Standy. Are you serious? I just put that, come on. Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? $67? Ouch. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Any chance your ex was exaggerating, trying to twist the knife? Catherine's a lot, but she loves that kid as much as I do. She wouldn't use him like that. He told her I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. 
This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. Why would Robbie trust Safi? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? Okay, I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Can't live with them, can't run a shadowy, secret society without them. <laughs> If you ever want to borrow one, just let me know. No one should be without a lackey, Max. And yet, I've made it this far somehow. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? 
So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. It's like an ex -fill. They have our man and he knows too. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for and... I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost? Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. So... If you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Vin's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. So, was it you? Here I was thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not. And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. 
But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after 7. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute. And at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Hmm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? Hope Ven's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Guess Vin found his phone.
Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. Slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> A Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Uh, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. My brain. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Jeez, somebody robbed an airport lounge. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? <laughs> World is a fuck, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. Uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm, minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? Not worth talking about. <laughs> what about you? Where did you drink? Well, at the risk of ruining my rakish reputation. Gotta admit, wasn't much of a drinker till I landed here. You came to Caledon for theater, right? <laughs> Got it in one. You know your Vin lore. I'm impressed. 
<laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people are interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. Yeah. They do. <sighs> I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ben, can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a Dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just. They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions, and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right. Of course. Jack Parsons. Surely this place has a book on him somewhere. Stop making that face. You know I hate that face. What? Pretty sure Myvin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. So, history of the occult seems like a pretty safe bet. Safi Llewellyn was murdered by a person, a flesh and blood human being. This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Sophie? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. 
I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking Overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? Plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this... Other you want. I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for... Oh, be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Oh, no. Right you have... 24 hours before the world goes. From here, what I should be able to make do? it up to the Overlook. I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? Hello? This is Sophie. Speaking. Shit! <laughs> I know you. No wonder Reggie had a panic attack. Any more 
unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? be a good time to bring up Sophie's book. Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <clears throat> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon, to Yasmin, and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something.
Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? Oh, Jesus, Max. Have you ever tried not being so goddamn nosy? Wouldn't you want to know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God. That would have messed me up too. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the bee cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up... I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go.
I got your text. I tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? It's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Kind of left field, but if you were going to hide something personal in this lab... Where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. 
Okay, maybe not that personal, but remind me to come back to that. Not on your life. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fire to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Uh, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? Uh, no, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. been here for days. That's new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. This is my handwriting. Wait. Am I the mystery photographer? Is... is this from some other timeline? Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just... Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Better give this wrench to Moses. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. Better give this wrench to Moses. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. That's still annoying.
damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe S A I P H. There's a star called Safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars oh, everywhere. Why is it so happy? Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? And they're safe on the lower left. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Was that you? I thought I heard something. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. That's still annoying. No camera. Must not be the right safe. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. They're safe! Please let this mean I'm one step closer to the camera. Right, because that would have been too easy.
on a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. It hurts to look at this. So safe is actually the star safe. Only Moses. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion? Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Just need to get this lined up with the mural. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. The mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it up there. to get up to the mezzanine. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place.
Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo, what? Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. If we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes, you are.
Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, shit. Moses, wait. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder beasts than these. Lucas Colmanero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. I know you're not a magic eight ball, but... Can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could've told you that. This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in- What the hell? There's a cat at my door. My other door. I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. Who's out there? Oh, look at you. That's a I should have guessed, Siamese. You being so chatty and all. <laughs> Where did you come from? Are you a refugee? A fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about miso soup? Just miso for short. <laughs> oh, right. Affection. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. I loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that 
she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry. Hey, can I move those pegs? Moses, you okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us, to everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. If there's something I can do, name it. You've been through a lot. We all have. Thanks, Max. But I feel like you've already done plenty. How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. I don't understand this any more than you do. But we can figure it out. Just give me some time.
Stay the fuck away from me. Was it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? <sighs> no matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way- Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah. The Gwen theory has some holes. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now.
No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Well... This is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Just my shit luck, I guess. Oh. Hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. It's not true. <laughs> he saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max! Stupid, stupid! What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could?
that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. It feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Sophie, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <laughs> Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this. If only. doesn't come. I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I, any version of me, could do something like that? He's probably not coming.
Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I... shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. I shouldn't leave yet. Okay. Psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Perilous Sword. Wrong. Extremely wrong. But... I did just watch you vanish into thin fucking air. <laughs> wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is 
the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. Both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. I felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. Oh, shit. Okay. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. Some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's. Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera 
her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. Moses, I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. There's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. I was before my time, but Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen, gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal.
Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. One last thing. Is that Sophie's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? If I'm lucky, maybe this Gwen left Sophie's manuscript behind. Gotcha. Reading Sophie's manuscript after all this feels like 
I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. 
I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. Exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safi has been distant lately. Could you... Keep an eye on her for me. Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. Anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Even. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. 
You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Gunna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Damn the email. Thought he was our only child. I wanted to talk to you about a Abraxas and who should be leading it. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a public statement about Maya. And I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the... Trouble. Give you a job as her assistant. 
Holy. Maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> yeah, shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're in a game. I grew up without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, you promised me a stable respectable job at health insurance and I took it and I cared about Maya and it was a horrible thing to do and I regret it ever since I don't have to bring that up in the debate there's not gonna be a debate I'm dropping out of the race you're just gonna let me be the head of a bracket like that Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know, I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason, I promise. Please. Enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead. For years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. The thing about Gwen selling hard drugs? That wasn't her. She was framed. Max, I get that you like Dr. Hunter, we all do, but there's video evidence. I saw the footage. Gwen smiles at the camera, like she wanted to get caught. I'm not going to ask how you got your hands on confidential material from an official school investigation. Good, because I'm not telling you. Alright, so was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I 
seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. You don't have to thank me. It was none of my business. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. I don't disagree, but no harm done. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? Surely you know why I'm asking better than anyone else. I'm afraid I don't, actually. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here either. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here.
World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Yasmin did one of these? I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Whoa, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like Lucas. The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for right. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Nope. Doesn't fit. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them.
Holy shit. It's the same. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Sophie, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. So many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter. Even after everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Sport? Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? Like... 
Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and Back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. I and a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's hang back and watch the crowd. Or <laughs> I got us two Roman coats. Now hold on just one minute. Is this Pepsi? Damn it. Again? Eddie, we talked about this. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. Run over to the spot where she would land. Max, you weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. No time to think. Okay, she crashes into you. You both go down. Uh, I'm so hardcore. But the singer jumps right back up. You're dazed, but I pull you to your Was I chewing gum before? Bad ass. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half-smoked blunt, a solo cuff that once contained a rum and coke, and the piece of gum that was inside the front woman's actual mouth. 
<laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Force show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild thing, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey, I have never made a girl cry on a first date before, and I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Oh. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it.
So, any idea what you're gonna do? Do? Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Um, I hope... Just... Take care. We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? There goes my security deposit. Tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. You stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. through my investigation stuff.
shit, he's right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! Ways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? Sophie? Sophie? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Sophie. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about! Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh.
Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. Um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Miso has calmed down some. Together? Can I get a high five? Oh. 
is literally the best moment of my life. I have so much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. So, you're what happened a shapeshifter. You You've have powers? got powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. You clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it, too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Hey, it's whatever. Tonight's a total reset. Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. I guess I should let you ask me something now. So. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I, um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? 
It's the same as this one. Except... You're... dead. Okay. I'm gonna... need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh... Unless I can figure out why, and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. How long have you had your power? Uh... Since high school, right after dad left, mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's... A lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so. But rewinding was... Too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo, the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it. Wow. 
Yep. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. All right, so you used to time travel and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died, shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom, all alone. All alone except for me, the one person who could have helped her stuck powerless behind the stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I, I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town? Or save her? I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here, when other you died, I learned that my powers had changed, that I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became All the Daughters We Don't Talk About. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. 
at least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? Yes. Well then, let's make sure you don't have to. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas, justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is, you aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I'm here at Krampus, but shit. <laughs> I'm still really. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves.
Okay. Some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. It's been all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up. Ben, he's the MC tonight, so we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history, and that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do, but I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party. Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Hey! Long time no... That's Krampus, young man! And have you been a naughty boy this year? Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at... <laughs> All times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Letting someone else worry about the projector tonight? Yeah, right. It'll be on me if something goes wrong. This thing is probably worth more than my whole tuition. So, so ma'am, uh, please. Gonna need you a few steps back. Yes, sir. Okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, but how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah, you were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired anyway. Safi's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So, is... Is that what you came over here for? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized... How much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. Forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. That's 
being a team. It's the truth. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. I'm so nervous. It's Krampus. Chill out. I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. I need to make sure Moses is running this for the roast. Did all of that without anyone noticing? Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm going to check out more of the party. See you guys. I'll need other Moses to help me break the projector. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life. Which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes, we did, but... It's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. This one first, then you can play that one. And then... Ah, this is the wholesome Christmas content I came for. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out.
Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. I Maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should okay. be on the right Let's side. See what Moses has to say. Do you mean there are more controls? I feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch to focus mode to menu. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. You probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Oh, what is happening? Oh, God. Hey, again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining the school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Yeah, this is Krampus we're talking about. We need a pro. We need a pro to press next on the projector? Everything has to be perfect for the roast. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. We'll see. All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. It's not you, it's me. I just don't understand. I... It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? A man has saved me a kid. 
She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. How are the discussions about our issues on campus going? Ew, is this Latin? Why? Can I borrow a selfie for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Oh, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. Guess who it's from? It's... For real? From the other side, from... Safi. Thank you, Max. Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yup. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up. Safi, out on the patio.
So, uh, remind us a few teeny again? tiny questions. We're it's gonna. Really... I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? You don't have to be good to be successful. Just persist. Yes. Talent and persistence are what led to my success. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well, anyway... Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. Give it to me. I'll take care of it. Welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmenero. Fair warning, he's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to wasted. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beasts Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. 
Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft? Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real, but you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right, it's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about? Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horseshit, Coleman Arrow. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable! Horrible! Petty of you, Gwen. Trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen. We've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? <sighs> wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are well, you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. Fuck. As of next year, 
wilder beast right. species will be adapted into a feature trust you film. we have to get in this time max so, this is vin's turf not cast, mine friends. make my day do you really think i should go up there as myself is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! <laughs> hey. We need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me. I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> Listen, I get being upset about a B-plus from a writer who plays, but wouldn't you rather have that? That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. 
<laughs> Sounds great. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him here. A true team effort. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Whoa. <laughs> that made my entire year. Mine, too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait. Where's Safi? Where's Safi? Safi wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head, it's... It what? was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can't do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied, you to, lied me. to me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 are getting worse. That doesn't make it okay. Can you two hear me? Get back! Maya and I need to come up here and look down. Sophie, wait for me. Unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, Afia. Oh, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Safi, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Safi, 
Listen to me. Your powers are hurting people. The whole campus is in danger. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> Sophie, remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again! If we don't do something, the whole town's gonna be destroyed. And you don't want that on you. Trust me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy oh. Oh. oh my god! for you. Shut up! No! What the fuck, Max? You the fucking hero again? You couldn't just stay back and let me handle this for once? It's okay, Yasmin. You're gonna be okay. Get away from her! Ah! Oh my god, Sophie!
Coffee will be there. The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? Or the one who hurt so many people? Even herself. I didn't want any of this. I tried so hard to save her. are you? Am I even Safi? After all of that? Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. The storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I... Never done that before. I guess it's time. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? You've already done it, right? At this point, it's just recitation. Sophia, I'm serious. This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Safi. God, you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger.
Okay, so looks like I'm not dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! I'm not in the past anymore. Safi, Max? Safi? Safi? Max! I can hear you, but where? out of the snapping turtle and then somehow I was here you know where we are right we're in the north quad why are we the only ones here I don't know but if things are weird now they're only going to get weirder that's not comforting I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Safi and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Have you seen Safi tonight? Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? You're not making any sense. Are you trying to tell me something? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses, I- Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... exposed a photo in a while, but if I superimposed two images of Moses on top of each other, maybe I could 
separate the Safi parts out. <coughs> Max, thank you. I, I. What happened? I don't know. It was like Safi had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... Where was she? I don't know. I couldn't get to her. Whatever you did, snapped me out of it. Or... snapped her out of me? been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Take care, Max. See you on the, uh, flip side. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun. But to do that, I had to let Arcadia Bay get destroyed in a storm. I couldn't do that. I rewound time, gave her up to get shot a second time. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? It's in one of these stalls. Stalls.
Lucas, I have to get down there. Okay, one neb is cute. Kinda. One. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus. Possessed dolls much? Once is all you get. Time to get the hell out of here. Even more magnificent down here. A forgotten hope. We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope, like a crack of light across my heart. Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's 
actually you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put, okay? It's dangerous out there. I think that's all. Is Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time. A time vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex? Fuck, you're right. It's, I remember Safi being shot. And I remember seeing her around campus. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin. I don't think Safi blames you for... <laughs> no. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Safis in two universes, and... Neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I... I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. I should go make sure Reggie's okay. He looks like he could use a hug. Or something. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay, out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings or the bathroom key going missing, not this. Hey, what's that there? Max. What is the storm? Why is Gwen out there? And why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water. Or a beer. And I promise I'll explain soon. Or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta find a way to get close enough to take Gwen's photo. I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese. Accidentally commits arson. Wild that my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. That's why Safi is the poet, not me. Confirm that this is your daughter. Oh my 
Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. I think. Sure, this is that motel in Cleveland. All right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who? Again? Or the location, right? That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms. Of here if I can't even open this door. How... How do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's going on. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over. Gwen, stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? 
Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> you know, I was pretty cool. I accept phoning gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. Oof. So. Any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel? Alternate universes? Scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends? What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? just seem extremely chill considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm it's the little things in life frappuccinos movie marathons chilling with your bestie in the void here's the thing I'm glad you were here, too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't not mean to. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be a clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After the wallet girl died, what did you do? I... ran away. But I shouldn't have. It was cowardly. 
I've wasted years of my life hating myself, knowing that if I'd only made better choices, I might have saved everybody. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, you don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do, gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made, but you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Safi, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your Magic Max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Isn't that weird? Sophie. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? How we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Oh my god. Yasmin. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you oh, Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? It's all right, Maxine. If Safia wants to pretend I'm not here, well, that is her right. Safi! <laughs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Safi. Hmm. Safi? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! Uh, keep that... that... Thing away from me. You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you could make me unshoot her. 
You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. <sighs> There's always a price, Safi. Always. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Or you need to leave. There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi.
lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. I know. I was shot. Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. <laughs> Max. Are you going to tell me what the hell I went through? Or do I have to spend the next decade in therapy? I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. One step ahead of you. I'm working on my apology as we speak. What do you say? Give a guy some constructive feedback? Give it to me. It's a little rough, granted. I hope the gracious hand of empathy backhands you into a ditch, Lucas. Do you actually mean any of this? Does it matter? At least no one can say I stole it. Not that they won't try. So, what's your next move? I'm not sure. Focusing on Robbie. I'm hoping he'll give me a second chance. That's probably the smartest thing you've ever said. It's not like I can stay at Caledon. This place has been poisoned against me. Who's the victim now? Well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Yeah. You too. Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yes, mean. What you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Here goes nothing.
Well. Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Safi. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. to check on how everyone's doing first. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity's gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? Would you really have believed me, though? If I had told you? It is pretty insane. <laughs> you know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. I kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I think I need time. To sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Max. Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey. Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met Safi. That must have been a revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that, every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? You're the one who's been texting me for days. Well, you're the only- Hey, Max. Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. But at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. So... Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. <laughs> I felt... how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying. And disappointing. Sophie was dealing with a lot. You couldn't have known. She needed someone she could trust. It should have been me. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. Video footage of me? That was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. Let's give them the talk. That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah, it was dangerous. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? <laughs> Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey. We're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. Do you think you'll ever go back to Arcadia Bay? It's finally starting to make yeah. sense. One day. I never knew what to say when they'd say to call a friend But I think it's starting to make sense And I'll try to get it right To have you on my side I feel fine some days I just wanna get it I think it's time I explained a few things. I know that I won't have to try sometimes. Sometimes. 
It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. But you don't walk away like the rest do. And suddenly I have so much more I can It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult for all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. I just want to get it right. And I know that I won't have to This time, I'm not going anywhere. Shit. Shit. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice.